can see the red and black of the Jameis Hoggins Berman team are trying to protect their leadership and get another stage victory here. Here they come, Jameis Hoggins Berman on the front, the lead out train. Straight at the line, here they come, going for the win. It's Optum, Optum, Smart. It is Smart Stop. Yes. Trav, what was the last, like, what was leading in the last lap? Last lap, well, I'll it was like two laps. Because I hit, like, the third lap. You know, like you said, we were trying to make it aggressive, so we got a couple guys to go in the uh, deep part of the climb before the feed, and it wasn't enough. So we came back on that headwind. Right when we get back, like, there's a pretty good crosswind over on the plateau, but not enough, I think. So I got with Zach and I think Josh. And you know, you have that plateau where it kind of, you go up and then it lulls and goes up again and falls flat. Yeah. So I was just like, let's just hit it here. So we jump and like five of us, I think we had two often guys too rotating and forced uh, Jameis to chase pretty hard, split the field and then it came back in that headwind. And so we took a little break and, you know, we just kept launching guys the whole time. And that came back. And were you just launching whenever or were you launching when intelligent? We were launching intelligently. Yeah. We were following moves. There was one thing, so that came back and, uh, you know, we were just like, ah, James is so strong, it's gonna be hard. And then uh, Eric went with uh, Jesse. Yeah. That was a good one. And uh, I was like, all right, that's good. And then I saw Ben go, and I was like, okay. I was just trying to mark Ben, because I knew they probably would have put too much stress, thinking, like, how we talked about, you know, if Ben's in the move, then he's going to sit on, and they right. might let it roll. Yep. So I jumped in, and the three of us were rotating in the head crosswind. That's cool that Jesse was working. Oh, yeah, Jesse was working hard. So, like... That happened, we caught the break. As soon as, soon as we caught the break, Austin had two guys with him. So Tom started working with us, and same with Tom. Did you know Tom put himself in the ambulance? What? He, he went so hard in the heat that he ended up in the ambulance. He was Ooh. covered in salt. One of the Austin guys that yeah. was in the early break, yeah. He was, he was riding hard for us, too. Yeah. He was giving it. Yeah, they were fucking going fucking second lap. Yeah, yeah. it was tight. It was, it was almost. <laughs> So then, like, you guys got reeled back with racing, then, then, then... So, yeah, we came then, into that climb last time up the climb. Like, we still had that, what, 30, 40 seconds gap. Yeah. Uh, so we just kept it rolling over the climb. And uh, we got up and over, and we were all hurting. But the guy said, that, you know, there's a group of 20, 20 seconds back with the leader in it. And... Uh, He's and helping I, for a while. Like, yeah, I told Eric, I was just like, let's just roll it, make him, make him work for it, because you figure what would happen if some of those guys would start jumping across, hoping for, hoping for the build to break almost. Or yeah. Hoping for that move to build up, and then uh, eventually it all came back together. And right when it came back together, Scott launched, and uh, Zach was right on it. So Zach and Scott went across clean. And I think everyone was so tired, it's just like, you're all looking at each other, waiting. Yeah. And we're looking at James to the work, and that's where it kind of got. I feel like Jameis was on the ropes there. Oh, yeah. They had, it was Ben yeah. and Ian. That was it. Yeah, but the yellow joke, he did four. Yeah, he didn't work. Uh, ben was doing a lot of work, but it was like, but at that point, too, Horizon, you have these amateur guys pulling for him, or he's like trying to jump across solo, and just nothing. So, huh. yeah, I had another little break went, and that I got did nothing. Like, they brought that five back. hour helped in on the run into town. Yeah. Then we have, yeah. it comes back together, there's like 60 of us. I get why they did it, it was so frustrating to watch them. Yeah, I understand, but it's just like, you're not. No, I get it. Like, I mean, I might have done the same, like, if you guys missed a move, like, okay, even if, but, it's so frustrating too because it was like you wish that they were in the move. Right. They were they could just say, yeah, they yeah. Would say. Right. Um, but then you guys they cut you guys caught them with like what, like seven K something? Yeah. 
right before the left hand turn. <coughs> so it was nice. I mean, like we caught him. Zach got on my wheel, and just like magically. I mean, Eric and Josh, Eric, Josh, and I were staying together that whole time. Uh, coming into this, like coming into the chase, like 20k to go. So we were sitting pretty, like 10th wheel, 12th wheel, just yeah. right behind Opto. And uh, Yuri, we move up, and there's like 5k to go, and Yuri's right there. So I yell at Yuri to get with us, and we organize right away. And uh, we had everyone there, but like Eric. Eric started going where we said to go, but I think it was maybe a little too far because we were all... It's different, it's different. Yeah, like yeah, it, it was just, a little peloton is different. Yeah, yeah. so... Like just for the riders who need to wait for the last moment. Yeah. yeah. So he got us in good position, and then, uh, right then, I'm sitting on Yuri's wheel, and then Optum goes, which is beautiful. So Brad was leading out, uh, Anthony. That's strange that Brad was leading out. Just yeah. Just that. And yeah. so Yuri's on Anthony. I'm right behind Yuri, and then Bone Shaker's trying to push us out of the way. Scott, Scott Tilford, where Tilford is. Scott Tilford, yeah. Yeah. And uh, we have a little scuffle, but he's a good guy. So, man, he's, he will not give you a wheel for his age. Like, he'll fucking fight you for that. So, anyway, like, I was still able to get on Yuri, and then Brad led it into the corner. Jesse jumped, like, so Brad led into the corner, Yuri was on Anthony's wheel, and then that, I don't know, the bone shaker was going up, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he came on the right, so I tried to, I, I was feeling the rider were coming on the right side, for the corner, they want to close it, so I went on the right side, and tried to close them. Oh, it was beautiful, he closed the inside, and I went wide, and then Jesse jumped, got a jump on me, which is pretty, pretty good jump, and, uh, that tailwind. Yeah. It was 53.11. And he was just killing it, killing it. And then. When did he come around then? 5 more meters. Yeah. Like how many? Meters. 20 yeah. meters? Oh. So, like, because I wasn't sure. I was sitting on him, and Brad's yelling at Jesse to go left. And I was planning to go left around him. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, if he sweeps left, he's got me. Yeah. So I waited, and he didn't move left or right. Yeah. So I was like, that's my time. So then I just jumped him left got around him and then all of a sudden because it was so fast it was like the sprint's right there yeah so it's actually almost a really smart move by brad because it just from saying left made you hesitate yeah it you really know? did i was like shit he's gonna shut me down but he, so then like yeah, i made that time. made the jump and just yeah. just had enough to get around him by like like wheel wheel point it was close that's awesome man yeah i mean it's cool, you know, both of us were in the break. It's real, and like, we were going hard in that break. Yeah, no, Eric, it's good to see the guys who are like animating the race, like, also finishing it off, you know? Yeah. So, it was fun, it was a fun day. Like, like you said, you know, we raced it as a one day race. Yeah. And we came out, and then, you know, and Zach was right behind me. Thank <laughs> you.